Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently we have informed regarding the upgrade of MI-17 helicopters of Indian Air Force. Four of Indian Air Force MI-17 helicopter squadrons have now been dedicated for light attack role. These helicopters are going to be armed with anti-tank guided missiles and rockets. They will also be integrated with Spike NLOS with a range of 25 kilometers. Now there are few more updates coming regarding the massive upgrade plan for these helicopters. As reported by the Tribune, the move to upgrade the older version comes in the backdrop of a recent initiative by Indian Air Force to involve the industry in the overhaul of MI-17 V5 in the view of its limited in-house capability. So at present, the MI-17 helicopters are overhauled at number 3 Base Repair Depot BRD, in Chandigarh. It is the largest helicopter maintenance establishment for Soviet or Russian era helicopters including the older variants of MI-17 and MI-25-35 gunships. The BRD was established in 1962 and it has been repairing, overhauling, modifying retrofitting the MI-17 series, their engines and aggregates since 1991. The depot also assembled and flight tested the V5 version after they were inducted in 2012. In 2019, a new assembly line became operational at depot for overhauling MI-17 V5. In addition to the indigenization of various types of aero spares to cut down dependency on imports, the depot has also been upgraded and modified helicopters to enhance their capability for meeting various operational requirements. However, the existing capacity of 3 BRD is limited. This is the reason why a significant number of latest variant, the V5s, have been sent overseas for major overhaul. Also, in the Air Force, older generation MI-17 helicopters are set for major upgrade which BRD is going to find challenging due to its capacity. Now, under the MI-17 upgrade project, 86 helicopters will be modified, which includes 54 MI-17 and 32 MI-17 1V variant. The work will be outsourced to the industry and undertaken at Indian Air Force establishments in Chandigarh, Guwahati and Yelhanka, Bengaluru with the plants being firmed up for retrofitting them with advanced avionics and electronic warfare suites. The major components of the new system will include smart multifunctional display, sat-nav suit, electronic warfare suit, missile approach warning system, radar warning receiver, IFF, CMDS and many more. The upgrade is aimed to facilitate MI-17 and MI-17 1V helicopters with state-of-art and advanced electronic warfare and surveillance equipment. The modification work comprises treatment of 14 systems on MI-17 and MI-17 1V each. Further, there are about 41 mechanical and 67 electrical installations for MI-17 and 73 electrical installations for MI-17 1V. The modification listed out for the MI-17 involves removal of some existing avionics, electronic system and navigation aids and replacing them with smart multifunctional displays, weather radar, traffic collision and avoidance system and air data systems. Indian Air Force reportedly operates over 220 MI-17 series helicopters that form the backbone of its vertical lift component which are extensively used for tactical missions such as troop transport, assault, special operations, fairing and air dropping supplies in high altitude areas, search and rescue and disaster management. These helicopters began entering service in 1991 and gradually replaced the earlier MI-8. In 2001, 40 of more powerful 1V variants were procured. In 2012, Indian Air Force began inducting the advanced V5 version after assembling them at Chandigarh of which over 100 are reported to be in service. MI-17s can travel at a maximum speed of 250 km per hour, have up to 8 fire posts for small weapons and can transport cargo of up to 400 kgs. 
MI-17s can carry up to 24 passengers or 36 troops in full combat gear. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.